Today, I'm going to lecture on conviction. And the reason I'm going to do this is I got the idea from a person, from another trader, a Las Vegas trader. Is he here? He might have signed out because, oh, Vegas trader. Yeah, he is here. Um, to, to, to do a lecture on conviction. And going into everything, what I, when I teach you stuff like Koala Bear, I want you to do it. It's not, I don't, I don't want, I don't want you to get, if I say that I'm, I'm upset when people lose because I don't want anyone to lose. But if you take trades or you do things that I didn't teach you, then, you know, that's on you. Okay. Uh, it's, it's really on you. You have to take some level of personal responsibility for that. So I say I don't care what you do, meaning I care what you do. I want you to follow the system, but I'm not going to never talk to you again if you do something that's on your own. You know, sometimes it may work, but in general, if you want to stick to the game plan here, you should just be doing gaps in my system. The benefit of doing things that is on your own is that you may learn something from it to bring you back around again to doing the correct action with me. In other words, let's just say, for example, you go off on your own. It's, it, this is an individual sport. We discussed that last week. It's not a team sport trading. So you go off on your own. You did my class. You think you can get better results using my system with somebody else's or combining it or doing something different or whatever, whatever it is. I don't even know. Any, any kind of thing you could think of. You go off on your own with something and you, you, then you end up doing worse instead of doing better. It may bring you back around again to the stuff that I'm telling you anyways. So it's, I don't, I don't want people to be upset or angry with me if I say you shouldn't do something because we're all adults and you can make your own choices with your own risk and cash. And sometimes it will benefit you to then be more disciplined and come back around again and listen to the things I say. So everyone has their own process that they have to go through. I, I could map out for you to, what to do exactly, but you still would not do it. Why? We're all independent people and we're all free thinkers and this is an independent activity. And I did talk about this, like I said last week, the idea of you know, community in reference to trading, I think doesn't foster uh, a strong individual. You know, the, the, what I teach you is to empower yourself because that's the only way you're gonna be able to do it well for the rest of your life. So part of being independent is sometimes you will go and explore other things. And sometimes then that is experience for you that will bring you back around again to do better with me, even if that thing didn't work. And maybe the thing will work. Maybe it will make you better in conjunction. Maybe, maybe you read fundamentals and, and that works with what I taught you and then you use it all together. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying my system is the only system out there that works. But I am saying my system does work and you don't need anything else. So why do anything else like corrections or whatever? But if you, if you feel that you have to or feel that you need to explore it or want to, then I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop you. That's what I meant. That's what I really meant, Koala Bear, because I can't stop you anyways, because everyone's an adult and everyone's an independent person. So sometimes you go through that process yourself and you will come back around to me and realize that you should have stuck with it. And so anyways, getting back to the topic of discussion, which is which I want to talk about today, which Las Vegas trader gave me the idea is conviction. So I was sick last week. Thursday, I did a crappy job because I was sick and felt like crap and really shouldn't have traded. Um, even though the one trade continued the Friday, the, the one loser of Verizon, and the second one worked and I just didn't get out of it right. The... The, the thing is, though, that having a day like Friday to trade on your own, and you guys just got it spoon-fed to you from the market, which was this mat, without me, is, is good experience sometimes for you guys to do things on your own. So I'm going to ask you a question. In an ideal world, what's your, what's your ideal world to trade, to day trade? Gaps. Trading alone. Trading with me in the room. Which is your ideal world? And I'd like some participation for people who are here to, to answer the question. In an ideal world, what's your ideal world to trade? Trade alone or trade with me here in the room? And, and, I, and I'm doing this for you guys, and, and, I, and I'm doing it for everyone. So answer and participate. Some of you always write stuff. Some of you never write anything. Wild Weasel says trading alone. Dubot says with you in the room. Susanna says trading with you. Mountain Girl says alone. Journey Woman says trading gaps alone. Barry says in the room. 
Anna says trading with you. Dubod's I keep learning. Frisco dad with me in the room. Came and do trade with me in the room. Galliad says trade with me. Big Fudge says you like trading with the group. New York City Bob says learn how to fish alone. Well, uh, I don't, that was, if I had to count everybody, it was like 50-50. Not everybody answered, but of the answers we got, it was like 50-50. In an ideal world, I believe that the perfect world is you get up in the morning. Oh, wait, hold on. We have another answer. Rumi says, I trade both. Start with you as you learn your system over and over after you trade on your own. Koala Bear says, one with me, then alone, then experience, and one and two could flip. Galliad says, sometime is good to be alone. Yeah. So in an ideal world, I believe, okay, that the best of both worlds is what you could do every day right now if you're in the room, which is what? You get up in the morning. You rate gaps yourself alone before you come in the room. Or, 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 or I, don't, I don't even talk anymore at 8.30. So you could just get up and come into the room, rate your own gaps. Then see what I do. See what I like. See if it matches up to me. <laughs> then you will, what? Trade. And if you like the same thing and I like the same thing, it helps your conviction. Now, what do you do in a day if you get up and you like something and I didn't like it or vice versa? Well, that's part of the experience then of learning and becoming a better trader because, you know, some days they may work, some days they may not, and you may learn from that experience. But you'll go through that process as an individual, which will help you become a better trader. Because usually the things that I pick, for the most part, do work. I usually do pick the best one every day. But if for some reason, you know, one day I don't, and you had one that worked, you could learn something from that. Or if one day you like something that I didn't, and you do it and it fails, you'll learn from that too. And why didn't you like the one I liked for whatever reason, okay? Anyways, the best of both worlds is that you use my conviction to supplement or strengthen your own conviction, not as a substitute. So the, the thing is that everybody is in a different time zone because I have so many people in so many different time zones in here. So if it's not convenient for you or difficult or you're getting home from work and it's late at night or it's early in the morning, you get up and you get into the room late, it, you, some of those people may not rate the gaps at all. And so you go with what I go, and that's fine. But, you know, in an ideal world, you would trade using my conviction to help you. I don't think anyone would trade better alone, to be honest with you, because I'm so great with calling the entries. Now, many of you can see the gaps and rate the gaps in the morning. But the one thing that I think you get from being in the room is A, the entries with me, seeing it in live time, and B, when it comes down to two things that we're watching, for me to narrow it down to do the one versus the other one, when they both rate close. So, you know, or seeing something like that something's gonna have a big move or, or whatever. So I don't think there's any downside in being in the room at all period. The downside is that if you do not rate gaps alone and you rely on me 100% that you are still risking your own money. So if you're risking your own money and you're relying 100% on me and you feel like you don't, you, you don't have maybe the, the, not the wherewithal because everyone's taking the class, but the, but the guts or I don't even know what to call it, to take as more risk, okay, just on my call without rating it yourself, then you need to be rating them. Then, then, it's just, then it's just simple, then you need to be rating them. If you think you'd do better alone, the only reason you think that is because you know you're lazy when I'm here. But you could, you could just be here and not be lazy. So be here and don't be lazy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the only thing I could say. There's no downside to be here with me at all because you can use my conviction to strengthen yours. But if you feel like you're lazy, then, there, then, then that's on you anyways because you could still do the work with me in the morning. And I don't talk a lot before the room anymore. 
I haven't done that in the last 12 to 16 months, pretty much all of 2016, and I think that's improved our results and my own trading and seeing things. So I, I'll continue in that way and we'll review when we're done. But all in all, you people have the benefit of both worlds because you have yourself. You never not have yourself. If you're lazy on your own in the morning because you have me, then that's on you. But you have me and you, so use them both. Whereas what do I have? No one. Not that it would matter because I don't want to listen to anything else anyone says. And many, many times when, when Tom would be in here, which he's not right now, he would distract me. No one in here distracts me. But because I knew him on a personal level, he did distract me. And, you know, but he's been trading for 30 years, maybe 40, maybe 50. I don't even know. But he still would like to come in every day and find out what I'm looking. In fact, he emailed me recently. I really want to know what your top pick is every day. So, and he does do the work, although he didn't do the class. He doesn't have the rating system. He, he has experience in looking at charts, but we don't always pick the same thing every day. But when I like the same thing he does, then he feels really, you know, he feels the conviction it's going to work. It's like that extra oomph. So you're here every day for me to give you the extra oomph. What does that mean? It means you can take more risk then with the confirmation of me. But if you're not doing any of the work at all, you're still risking your own money. So, you know, it's like, you know, I get, I get that, that it's good to be here because some of you are busy or the time zone, but if you really, really, really want to start risking more, at some point you will have to be thoughtful about looking at the ratings. I'm not going away. I'm still going to do the room, even with all these projects and things I have going on. Because we tried an experiment last year, and I had someone else help me with the room, and it was, it was not a good idea. And the one thing I learned from that was that no one can call the traits like me. So whatever my future happens to hold in different projects or things, I will always call the room. And I have been closing down the room before 11 o'clock, because I just have. When we're done with our trades, we get out. But, you know, you will have me here to help you with the conviction, strengthen the conviction, and do the calls. You'll just have to work with me when there's days where I'm sick, like last week on Friday, because there's no one to replace me. But on those days, do the work. This was an amazing gap. If you don't do the work when you're here, it's not because of me. It's because of, the, of you. You can do the work alone or with me. You've got it, Ronnie. Glad you have me. Okay, came in, dude. Confidence, all of it. The, the confidence, the confidence, the conviction, but it's a conviction. The downside is you don't, your intuition isn't growing. Well, why do you think that is? Journey Woman says her intuition isn't growing. Why do you think that is? I mean, why do you think that is? This is going to 8.60 today. I said that 15 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. I don't know. What time did I say it? 9.35, 9.40. So how many people think that this was, the move was, the move was too late. The move was too late when I called this trade on April 19th for Galahad to take it to do it. The move was too late. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. I called it at 8.40, 8.30 something. Too late. Too late. It only has 30 more points to go. It's too late. Too late for me. <laughs> Listen, people. Journey women, why do you think that your intuition isn't growing? Oh my gosh, you just didn't say risk to reward Galahad. I'm gonna do I'm gonna we're gonna take you to a hospital and they're gonna do a brain surgery and they're gonna pull out that piece of your brain that has that word risk to reward. Because that 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 combination of words for some reason we need to delete from your brain. Someone needs to pull that actual piece of your brain out and delete it because that is screwing up you being up trades and not getting out when you're up, not taking trades now. I mean, that that those two words in your vocabulary are ruining your life. <laughs> we need to delete those words. It's hard for you to see what you might see if you're looking at what I'm looking at. Well, you did this on Friday. You did that alone without me. You don't need to have my intuition. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole point. If you're here, you get the benefit of that. If, if you're not here, you don't. Do you need it? No. What do you do? The system. 
you rate it. You don't need to have the intuition I do. You don't need to. You don't need to know that the market is higher. You don't need to know or have said today that Google was going to go to 860. You don't need to know it. it you don't need to. You don't need to know that in order to make money. A, you have the benefit of being here with me every day, and B, even if you chose not to or do, didn't or can or couldn't, you, you have the class, you've got the information, and you just do it. You don't need that intuition. I'm try I, want to, I would love everyone to have it, <coughs> but I actually know that not everyone will. I think I, optimistically, I'd like to say that, that people will gain this at some point if they continue trading for forever. There will be a shift that maybe people will get it. It could take one year, it could take five years, it could take 10 years, but then you may never get it. But you still have the system, you still use it, you still rate it, you still do it. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to be me. That's the whole point. I said that, I don't even know when I said that. I said that last year, this year, I said that. I know I said it in the last six months. You don't need to be me. You don't need to try to be me because, because I'm me and you know me and you're here. And you learn from me and you have the system and you use that. You don't have to have my intuition. I, I don't think anyone ever will, to be honest with you. I've got a head start. I've been doing this for longer than anyone. I made it up myself. I, I have a head start. So it's like trying to say, it's like if you wanted to, you know, I'm just trying to think of something. It's like if you, it's like if you, tennis is coming up. It's like if you want to try to be, you know, Roger Federer, you're like, I want to beat Roger Federer in 2018. And you never, never even played tennis before in your life. Well, you, you got a, you got a long way to go. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? I, I, I don't know. You know, it's like you're starting from the beginning. I've got a head start on you for the intuition. Don't worry about it. Could you play tennis and be out there and get in some of the rounds and win some money and start your career and, and do well? And could it take off in the next few years? Yes. But, you know, is it necessary that you, you know, beat Roger Federer in 2018? No, it's not. Uh, Rumi is full of quotes here today. Success comes when opportunity meets preparation. I think Oprah said that, didn't she? That's that's from Oprah. Yeah, I've heard of that before. The preparation is in the morning, and then you take the trade when the opportunity is there. And you don't force it when it isn't, which, which I do a good job with. But some of you still struggle with that, and I understand. The opportunity is when you get a trade like this in Matt. And, and don't beat yourself up if you didn't hold this down to 22. I, I highly doubt that I would have. I highly doubt that I would have. I'm not sure what I would have seen in the morning in this, but I would have loved the gap. But, you know, you can't fault yourself for not holding this down $2 for those of you that did it. To get a dollar out of this, the stop was good. You know, at the end of a week, trading on your own alone without me was great. Anyways, the point I was trying to make and was emailing back and forth with Las Vegas Trader about it is that there's no downside to being here with me unless you find you're lazy, but you don't have to be. There will be many days if you trade alone that you will you will feel uh, that you need a support system unless you are unless you are uh, extremely extremely independent, um, and I find that even strong individuals, uh, you know, or independent thinkers, I should say, are, you know, it's it's hard because you could be alone and then see something on the internet, or you could be alone and then see, you know, just see a tweet or see something in the news or whatever, and it can it can set you off. Whereas I'm here trying to just drill it into your head like a drill to stay on course and to stay focused. It's very easy when you're alone to get distracted by other things, and it could be something so small that distracts you. And so unless you're extremely independent, like almost like you don't give a crap what anyone else thinks about you or what anyone else agrees with you or not. It'll, it'll be hard for you to stay on course, you know, 200 days a year trading alone. So just, you know, if you're, if you're not rating stuff in here and you have time to do it, start to do it so you can take more risk and see things better and get better. And that will help gain your intuition, but it's not necessary and not everyone will get it. 
And I'm not saying that to be negative. I'm saying it because it's a fact, but it's not necessary. And it wouldn't be necessary even if I wasn't here because you just follow the system. Find your unique thing that you do very well with this and hone in on that and make it work for you. Find something very, very, uh, find something that you're really good at about this and just hone in on that and make it work for you yourself. Instead of trying to be like me in that regard with the intuition or whatever, hone in on something that you're good at yourself and get good at it and use that as your thing. Create your own thing with this. Like, like Dubon's is good at holding trades long into the late morning and afternoon. That's not my thing. But he's good at doing it and he likes doing it. And I think he did Matt a couple of times on Friday. So that's his thing. Galahad, I thought options might be your thing, but now you're all off track about this lately. But I thought last year that this might be your thing, but now you're, you're going off the deep end about these corrections and, and, and risk to reward things. But find your thing, whatever your thing is, and then make that, make that yours. You know, say, I'm going to do every continuation gap or I'm going to watch, I'm going to track them, I'm going to watch them. Like Journey Woman like this today. I didn't think this would fall today. I didn't think it at all. I didn't think it would fall today at all. But Journey Woman could have watched it or Verizon on Friday. And I'm not saying this is your thing. I'm just saying you could find a thing that's your thing and make it your own and get really good at that part or that piece of chart reading in gaps or the system that I taught you. Whether it's you know, a 15 minute or a five minute or a one minute or a daily chart or, or whatever, or doing the options or doing a swing trade or continuation gap or something. Find, find something to make that thing your thing and make, make it your thing. Then it'll be your thing. It won't be my thing. It'll be your thing. And that's the thing you do. And then you can, you can contribute if you want to here in the room. You don't have to, but you could. And they say, oh, that's so-and-so has this thing he's watching it's a good one or whatever. Your morning routine, you get up at 2.45 a.m. Pacific time to prep. <laughs> You're normally on point with the same calls as me. Good job, Anna. 2.45 a.m., that's a tough one. May as well not even go to bed. <laughs> Oprah was quoting the Seneca, their ancient Roman philosopher. That's from Chief. Okay, now we know. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, well, Galahad, if, you, if, if this is your thing, doing options still, that I'm not sure, then it's just the risk to reward that's in your head that's screwing you up once again, okay? Because the big money was here. It was waiting to, this was, stock was waiting to rip, and it did it today. And somehow last week I saw it. So to say that this is late, to even still think this was late to do even now when the stock ran up, I, I just have to say I don't know what's going on in your head. It's not, that the, it's not about the risk to reward. It's about whether or not you're willing to pay the price of the option. And if that means you take less contracts, then so be it. It doesn't mean that, the, the, first of all, the risk to reward was here. It was. So for you to even say that it wasn't is wrong. It was the cost of, the, it was expensive to buy. Normally, the ones that I've called are cheaper sometimes. That's why. Um... No, it wasn't. It was not Galahad. Right now, this is $10 through the strike. I don't remember exactly the price of it between the ask and the bin on the day that I called it. It was, it was like, it was, it was like around nine or 10 or something. This was still 100% returning your investment. Even here, even paying that much, it was 100% returning your investment. I don't know how that isn't good risk to reward. Doesn't matter if it was one contract or two contracts or a hundred contracts. That's a hundred percent returning your investment. How is that not good risk to reward in an option trade? This is where I was trying to help you when you were here and and we did the Mr. Perfect video. 
you don't think that's good risk reward. I don't know what to say. But Vegas Trader has a point with the options. You do have to watch them. Now, that doesn't mean you have to sit at your desk all day, but you do have to watch them. You can't be out, you know, cruising around the world and not at least look at your phone. You have to look at your phone. You have to be in touch with what's happening. You can pull up the stock price on your phone. You can look at your charts. And if you're not at your desk, you can call your broker to exit the trades. There were times I had to do that last year when I saw something. Or I would say, what's the price of the ask and the bid? I'd see the price of the stock and I'd say, what's the price of the ask and the bid? So, it, you know, that's something else you have to get used to doing too if you're not home every day to watch them. But you do have to watch them. Find a way around it if you want to do them. Or don't. Then don't do them, you know? Anyways, getting back to the whole conviction thing here, I think that there's no downside to being in the room. You will get that extra thing that I have by being here. If it means you don't rate the gaps, then then that's on you. But this is an independent thing. You're risking your own money. When you're doing that, the more conviction you have, the stronger you feel, the more you feel like taking more risk. The trade set up fast. Having me call them helps a lot. Knowing where to put the stop does too, okay? Double checking your numbers on the rating is good with me. If you're not gaining a sixth sense intuition, don't worry about it. Maybe take the pressure off yourself. Okay, so 50%. What if you bought it at the high and sold, sold it now? What if you would have made 50%? You're telling me that's not good enough. And it's actually more than 50% even. Let's say you bought at the high of the option last week. And you got out right now. And you got out right now and didn't even hold it. To the numbers I'm saying is going to go down. You don't think that's good enough money. We had this discussion weeks ago. And I used the example. I don't even know if I have this here. Oh, gosh. Did I still? Let me just see if I kept it. 